Hi guys, it's Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am trying my very best <laughs> to start my own homemade business called Sew and Inspire. I am trying so hard to get a website up for you guys, um, but there have been quite a few obstacles in my way. So for now, you can go follow my Instagram, which is at Sew and Inspire. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make one of these pencil cases. I absolutely love these pencil cases. I use them all the time at school. Um, so yeah, if you want to know how to make these, then just keep on watching. They're, they are not... There are parts of it that are difficult, but overall it's quite um, a nice thing to ease you into pencil cases if you kind of have some sewing experience. So yeah, if you guys do enjoy, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not ready to see more videos from me. And without further ado, let's just get into making the pencil case. <laughs> okay, I hope the angle is okay. We're going to start with drawing the rectangular pencil case. Um, so, I do actually use a pre-made pattern, which is this one here but I'm going to give you all of the measurements so that you can draw it yourself at home. So, first thing you want to do, this is for making the bigger one. So first thing you want to do is draw a 31 centimeter line at the top of your page. I have an A3 piece of paper and it's not quite big enough so, you'll see what I'm going to have to do, but... Next, you're going to want to draw a 5cm line down from each side. I hope you can see this. Okay. Then from those lines you want to draw five centimetre line inwards. Next you're going to draw seven centimetre da line down from those two horizontal lines that we just drew. Next you want to draw a three centimetre line outwards okay so from that three centimeters line then you want to go down four centimeters and then draw a line joining the two up at the bottom And then that is going to be your fold line. So you'll place this on the fold of the fabric. This line on the fold of the fabric. Um, so yeah, you could draw out the whole thing. So basically this line would be eight centimeters and then you just follow the same measurements up here, down here. cutting out because me too <laughs> but it's done I've also cut out my lining but I didn't film that because that's a bit boring um okay so first thing you're gonna want to do you want your lining and your like main fabric piece I guess um you want to lay them on top of each other with kind of like wrong sides together if that makes sense <laughs> so, so first thing you're going to do is grab your 12 inch zip and lay it right sides so this is the right side lay that down onto the top of the fabric and pin in place and then sew along there and then once you sew along there you're going to fold this up to here and sew along 
there. Okay, you also want to change your sewing machine foot to a zip foot. Mine's already on a zip foot because all I do is make pencil cases. <laughs> Joking. Um, anyway. Okay, so I'm now going to just trim this excess fabric here because we're going to sew down the zip and make a really nice kind of top stitching on the outside which gives it a really nice finish and it also makes sure makes sure there are no raw edges um, inside of the pencil case. Okay, so now your zip is inserted and you've got this really nice top stitching. You don't, there are other ways you can do this, but I prefer to do it this way um, just because that's how I've got best results with this shape. So, next up, you're going to undo the zip and separate the two fabrics. So basically turn it inside out like this and then you're basically going to make the pencil case twice in the lining and this fabric on like two sides of the zip you'll kind of see as I talk through it but so okay so the first thing you want you want to do is take the two fat edges kind of where the zip is and put right sides together Pin that in place and then the most important thing to remember here is to not include your lining and your zip so you want to just like fold them back you can pin it if you want uh, to make it easier and then sew across that line seam edge whatever you want Okay, so now your two end seams are sewn, you next want to do the side seams. So for this, you just want to pull it out like this. I hope you this is you can see what I'm doing, but you want to make sure that seam is lying flat in the middle and then just sew straight line on all four sides. It's super simple. Okay, so now I'm just going to repeat all of those steps on the on the lining side. Okay, so when you're sewing up the sides of the pencil case, you need to leave one side uh, not sewn so you can turn it out the right way. Okay, and then with that opening that you didn't sew up, just pull the whole thing through and then. And then that seam that you didn't sew up, just fold in the raw edges, like so, and then just sew up there. So yeah, just cut off with all your threads and then you're done. You've made a little pencil case. that is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed and it wasn't too difficult to understand i am still getting used to um how to talk people through how to make things so bear with me but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and are thinking of giving this a go yourself it's a nice challenge if you don't know what to do with yourself at this time make a pencil case challenge yourself all you need is a sewing machine fabric and a zip and you're done but yeah I really hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys next Saturday for a runny video. Bye!